Red skies at night, sailors delight. Red skies at morning, sailors take warning. I'm sure at one point in your life you've likely heard this phrase said. If you haven't, you've clearly been living under a rock. But what exactly does it mean? Is there any actual merit to this phrase, or is it just an old wives' tale? Is it just old maritime superstition, or does science actually back this up? Well, the phrase actually dates back thousands of years. In fact, the first known recorded usage of the phrase actually comes from the Bible. In Matthew 16, 2, Jesus said, He answered them, When it is evening, you say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be stormy today, for the sky is red and threatening. So an adage this old has to have some merit to it, right? No, wait, it's just superstition. Well, yes and no. The truth behind the phrase is this. In the central latitudes on the Earth, weather systems move from west to east following the jet stream. So weather coming across the ocean will be seen a good bit out before reaching land. Sunlight at sunset will pass through approaching high and mid-level clouds, causing scattering of the sun's rays through suspended particles in the atmosphere, like dirt and moisture. The blues and sunlight are filtered out until only the red rays are left to shine through. So therefore, when seen at night, the red indicates a high pressure system will come through, likely in the night, and have passed before the morning time when a sailor leaves port. High pressure systems are typically indicative of good weather, but if seen in the morning, this means the system is usually a low pressure system. Low pressure systems tend to be indicative of bad weather. If seen in the morning, it means the weather has yet to reach the sailor and they'll likely be to sea by the time it hits. But of course, this only applies to the mid-latitudes of the Earth, and really only the western coast of continents. If you were, say, along the equator, or near the Arctic or Antarctic, the currents work differently. If you're perhaps in the eastern coast of the United States, or the coast of Asia, again, your local weather may behave differently. So is this adage true? Well, yes and no. Depends on where you live, really. As a general rule of thumb, why not? But in our modern world of Doppler radar and satellite-tracked weather systems, there are much more accurate and effective forms of weather prediction. So will getting underway when you've seen red skies in the morning lead you to a great deal of misfortune? Maybe not, but better safe than sorry. So have you heard this adage before? Is it true in your experience? Let me know in the comments, and stay tuned for more superstitions with the Superstitious Sailor. Fair winds and following seas, shipmates. As a small announcement, we now have these awesome new Better Safe Than Sorry t-shirts, just designed by the channel artist, and available in both black and white and color on her Tee Public shop. The link for that is in the description. We also still have our cool patches for the channel, the channel logo, the Fair Winds of Falling Seas patch, and the Certified Shipmate patch. A link for those is down in the description as well. So support the channel, pick one of those up, and Fair Winds of Falling Seas to you shipmates.